Appearances, without a doubt, the first and most important advantage of the Hummer H2, cross-country ability is in second place. Despite the fact that the car has been produced since 2002, it still attracts attention on the street, especially if it has a bright body color, such as yellow. And drivers with pedestrians not only look back at the Hummer, but also respect it, even in Moscow, not to mention other Russian cities. If you wanted to change lanes, you just turned on the turn signal and gently moved the steering wheel to the side. This is how, by the way, drivers of large trucks drive. And that's it. On the road immediately formed free space. In addition, police reports indicate that the Hummer H2 is not stolen too often. Firstly, the owners usually set up satellite alarms, and secondly, the car is too noticeable on the road. And if traffic cops receive data about the theft of a Hummer, then it is very easy for them to calculate those cars in the traffic flow that should be stopped for inspection. Captivated by the appearance and dimensions of H2, still do not rush to buy it. Climb inside first, and maybe your opinion about the car will change. It is not as spacious as it might seem from the outside, and the interior can completely plunge into sadness. Buyers of expensive SUVs, which even cost $50,000 or more in use condition, are used to other interiors. Right there, a simple cheap plastic, often not perfectly installed parts, there are certain complaints about ergonomics. Yes, invisibility leaves much to be desired, due to the wide pillars and narrow side windows, the driver almost does not see what is happening behind. It is especially difficult when driving in the city center, if you put a small car like Oki or Diwu made eyes to the rear bumper of the Hummer H2, then it simply will not be visible from the driver's seat. And parking sensors are not on all cars. Experienced hammer growers strongly recommend installing it immediately after purchase. And it is very desirable to splurge on the rear view camera. The last pleasure, of course, costs a lot, but the camera is much more convenient. In general, you need to clearly understand why you are buying this car. Having her as the only one in the family is actually quite silly, especially if you live in a metropolis. This is the second, and even better the third car, on which you leave the city for fun rides. Used Hummers are mainly imported from America. The main advantage of American cars, of course, is the price. In the US, the Hummer H2 was much cheaper than in Russia. And now is generally the best time to buy large SUVs in America. Due to high gas prices, the demand for huge cars in the US is rapidly declining, and this applies not only to the primary market. A very difficult situation is developing in the second-hand market. If people do not have money for a new car, then they certainly do not have enough money to feed large SUVs with expensive fuel. And prices in the secondary market are now falling sharply. Many buyers are afraid of the so-called Kaliningrad cars. Hummer H2 was assembled not only in the USA, but also in the former Königsberg at the facilities of the Aptoder Enterprise. There are many rumors about the low quality of cars made in Russia. However, this is nothing more than horror stories. In fact, cars from Kaliningrad have quite decent build quality. And if there are jams there, then their number is not much greater than that of the American Hummer, especially the H2 model, the Kaliningrad Hummer H3 have, for example, a characteristic sore, their headlights sweat, but the H2 has everything in order with optics. By the way, there are no special problems with body parts. Branded services usually have everything you need, but in simple spare parts stores, hardware for the Hummer H2 is brought only to order. What to do? because these SUVs are not as widespread as, say, the Volkswagen Golf or Toyota Corolla. Body parts prices are very high. For example, glass for the front door costs almost $800 to $900. But here we can give one piece of advice. In Moscow and St. Petersburg there are quite a few companies that can make glass to order, and its price will be much less, about $250. You should not count on a large range of engines in the case of the Hummer H2. Even such a large concern as General Motors does not have many engines at its disposal that would be suitable for the Hummer H2. Now in the secondary market, 99% of Hummer H2s have a 6.0-liter petrol V8, 330 horsepower and 495 newton meters, under the hood. The motor turned out to be quite reliable, and there are no big claims to it from the mechanics. The 6-liter unit calmly digests our 90-second gasoline, but there are some nuances of operation. For example, the frequency of maintenance is questionable. Natural, mineral water is poured into the motors of cars brought from the USA. It is much cheaper, 
but remember that you need to change it every 5,000 kilometers, maximum every 8,000 kilometers. Should I switch from mineral water to synthetics? Experienced mechanics say the following. If you have an almost new car with low mileage, then it is better to fill in modern synthetic oil and change it after about 10,000 to 12,000 kilometers. The car has a program that itself shows when you need to call in for maintenance, but some masters do not recommend trusting it. But if the Hummer H2 has already traveled 100,000 kilometers or more, then it is very dangerous to do this. The synthetic oil will tear off the soot deposited there from the cylinders, and the matter may end in a major overhaul. Some owners of the Hummer H2 complain about the battery, which rarely lasts more than two years and is often discharged, even if the car has stood idle for only a week. Sometimes there are problems with the electrics, because of which the engine either troits or does not respond to pressing the gas pedal or even stalls. Sometimes throwing off the battery terminals for a few minutes and replacing the spark plugs helps to cure such glitches, but more often the car still needs to be taken for diagnostics. Automatic transmission. This is the main problem for Hummer H2 owners. And not because it has a rather old design and only four steps, the modern six-speed automatic transmission appeared only this year on modernized SUVs. Automatic often fails after three to four years after the start of operation. According to the masters, automatic transmissions rarely withstand more than 130,000 kilometers. The reason for this is not only that the machine turned out to be weak for such a machine. This is true, but only partially. It's just that Hummer H2 owners usually don't think about the fact that the car needs to be operated carefully and gently. On the contrary, they try to leave the traffic light with a whistle of tires, often arrange funny rides on the sand, and so on and so forth. Therefore, when buying a 3-5 to five year old Hummer H2 with a mileage of under 100,000 kilometers, be prepared for the fact that the box will soon require repairs costing about $3,000 to $3,500. True, restored automatic transmissions are usually more reliable, since the masters put already reinforced elements. The suspension as a whole is recognized as reliable, and if it does crumble, it is usually due to too active use of the car on the road. But the steering is the weak point of H2. The bipod and pendulum do not last long, although their replacement is not too expensive, about $200 and $300, respectively. On a three-year-old car, ball joints and even levers can be heavily worn. By the way, do not forget that the Hummer H2 has not a simple rear suspension, but an air suspension. Pneumatic elements are a useful thing for comfort, but harmful for the wallet, especially if you take second hand. After all, pneumatics can break and sometimes this happens because of the glitch of the electronics. If the matter is in the pneumatic elements themselves, then prepare $500 for each. Used Hummer H2 is not the best buy. The car does not shine with reliability and requires a lot of money for maintenance. And don't forget about fuel consumption, because in the city it takes 25 liters per hundred. However, in most cases, the owners of such a serious vehicle are willing to put up with certain financial costs. Moreover, they are happy to invest in improving the SUV, someone cares about appearance first of all, someone is working on cross-country ability. Therefore, when buying a Hummer H2, we advise you to find a good master who knows how to service this car. Believe me, then the problems will be much less. The history of the Hummer brand is probably well known to everyone. In the 70s, the American Army wanted to have a new universal vehicle, and in the summer of 1979, AM General began to create such a vehicle. The car was named HMMWV, High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, or High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle. For a long time HMMWV was supplied only to the armed forces. But in 1992, after the war in Iraq, sales of this model began to everyone, the SUV was called the Hummer High. In 1999, the rights to the Hummer brand were purchased by General Motors, and almost immediately GM began work to expand the Hummer model line. In 2000, the H2 concept was presented at the Detroit Auto Show. True, the start of mass production had to wait almost 2.5 years. The production of a new car began in the summer of 2002. At first, the car was made only in the USA, but in May 2004 it began to be assembled in our Kaliningrad. Well, this year the Hummer H2 has undergone a small upgrade, which mainly affected the power unit. The frankly old 4-speed gearbox was replaced by a new 6-speed automatic transmission, 
and an updated version of the 6.2 liter 398 horsepower Bortec Bortec with improved torque characteristics up to 574 newton meters appeared under the hood. This Hummer H2 left the assembly line in 2005, and not in the USA, but in our native Kaliningrad. According to the owner, at first the Russian registration of the car bothered him a little, but later it turned out that the car had not much more problems than those imported from the USA. The first troubles immediately after the purchase, the electrician began to fail, for some reason the air suspension stopped working. However, at the warranty service, all problems were quickly resolved. And then the SUV only pleased the owner. About a year ago, the Hummer H2 showed its character again. In the fall, the battery began to constantly discharge, the steering arm required replacement, and something had to be replaced in the suspension. Plus, one pneumatic element died, both went under replacement, since they need to be changed in pairs. Even for a completely incomprehensible reason, the air conditioning compressor broke down. Now the owner has decided to sell his Hummer H2, mileage, 80,000 kilometers. The price is $55,000.